Hey everybody, my name's Seth and welcome to my channel. Um, I want to do another rambling video. Uh, I've been thinking about my fifth house a lot since um, my last video where I talked about Pluto and, and Pluto being in my fifth and, and um, where Leo is placed and maybe some struggles that are going on there. Um, I'll put a link somewhere so you guys can know what I'm talking about. But outside of that, I've been thinking about the fifth house in general because of that. And um, the fifth house and the idea that I consider it to be the campfire. It's something I really like to think about. I, I like to think of it as a campfire in the chart. The idea of what are people doing around your campfire. Um, if you are the flame that everyone's surrounding around, what are they doing? Are they singing together camp songs? Are they just roasting marshmallows and chilling? Um, are they trying some, some new drugs out in the woods or drinking? Are they um, trying to relax and get away from the world? Um, or are they out there in the woods around this campfire for work period? And it's just, they just punched out and, and, and they're discussing what's going on. Uh, are they there to plan and, and, and figure out what they're going to be doing in the morning? Why are they in the woods to begin with? It's something mysterious. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Like look at each sign in your fifth house and, and think about like, what is your campfire? And, and for mine with, with Scorpio being there. Mine has a lot to do with the idea of when, when everyone's sitting around my campfire, we're looking for a catharsis. We're talking shit. We're like, we're talking, I'm usually there, who's around my campfire? My coworkers and the people that, that go through life with me, who stand by me in these different situations and understand my struggle and, and I understand theirs and we can discuss deep things about what our issues are and what do we feel our frailties are and what are our faults and what do we hate and what do we love and and what do we feel our limits are and and, and just struggle in general and and the depth of of what scares us and why it scares us and without all of that weight but really when you have catharsis with someone when you can have a deep conversation and and, and feel uplifted and better and like you got something off your chest it's more than likely because you talked about what scared you and, and I find a lot of the people that I, I come really close with and I feel strong camaraderie with um, comes from the people that I can find catharsis with, people I can find that Scorpio kind of openness when you're able to talk about what it is that you love, what it is that you hate, what is it that you struggle with, and, and how do you defeat it. Um, it's interesting. I think it's really interesting. And I think it's, it's a, a fresh way to look at the fifth house. Um, I'm constructing a bigger idea on how we can start looking at some fresh ways to look at each house. Um, and, and, and this kind of thought experiment, I guess, it is one of those. It's one of those ideas. And, and I think there are plenty of ways of looking at the fifth house. I think there are plenty of ways of looking at each house. And, and this campfire one is the one that's on my mind now. So I thought, why not turn on the camera and, and talk to you guys about it and see what you guys think. What's your campfire like? Look at your fifth house, look at the sign that's sitting there, look at the planets that are sitting within your fifth house and let me know what, what's your campfire. If you're the flame and, and everyone surrounding around you, who are they? What do they look like? Why are they there? Um, how do they even know this campfire is going on? Um, and, and, and what are they going to be doing? And, and maybe get a good perspective on what you bring to a community and, and what you bring to your friends, why they want to hang out with you in the first place. Why are they hanging out at your campfire? And maybe even look at your significant other, look at your friends, look at your family and ask yourself, why am I sitting at their campfire? What's going on in their chart and why am I there? What do I feel is going on? It's just another way to, to use astrology to understand the complexities of uh, human interaction. Um, so hopefully you guys find it interesting and, and, and let me know and, and leave comments, like, share with your friends so they can leave comments. It's fun. This one's really short, but why not? It, it's something I think is interesting and hopefully you guys think it is too. Um, so uh, find me on Facebook, find me on Twitter, uh, subscribe if you haven't already. And um, yeah, stay tuned because you never know what I'll be talking about you next and all that good shit.